you first. The CDC says fully vaccinated people can visit with other fully vaccinated people inside without wearing masks or social distancing. They can also visit with unvaccinated people from a single household who are at low risk for severe disease, also without wearing a mask or distancing. That means vaccinated grandparents can visit their grandchildren who haven't gotten the vaccine. If you're fully vaccinated, you do not need to quarantine after a known exposure as long as you have no symptoms. But even if you are fully vaccinated, the CDC recommends that you should still wear face mask and social distance while in public. We should explain that fully vaccinated means so this is what it means. You've gotten all your doses. That includes the one dose vaccine from Johnson and Johnson or the two dose vaccine from Pfizer or Moderna. And at least two full weeks have passed after your last shot. At last check, more than 1 million people have been fully vaccinated in North Carolina. That number is at more than 426,000 in South Carolina. As more people become eligible to get the COVID vaccine, getting an appointment becomes more competitive. There is still a limited supply of vaccines in the Carolinas. A reminder, if you are in groups one, two or three in North Carolina, you can get vaccinated now. That's health care workers, people living or working in long term care facilities, anyone 65 and older, as well as school employees and frontline essential workers. We know it has been difficult for so many people to get an appointment. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Lesh has some tips and tricks on how to get one when it's your turn. We're used to getting the flu shot at a pharmacy or grocery store. Now several in our area are offering the COVID vaccine, but getting an appointment is taking a little bit of luck and a lot of patience. We've gotten your calls, texts and emails with questions about how and where to get a vaccine appointment. That wouldn't be. No. Demand is high, supplies are low, but now there are more places in the Carolinas for you to get your shot. I think it's important that Harris Teeter become a part of the solution. Start by going to harristeeter.com slash COVID care. The website has an automated system that will ask you questions to check if you're eligible before showing you the dates that are open. This afternoon, there were some available for next week. We do expect to continue to receive allocations of the vaccine and we'll be adding more appointments as vaccine becomes available. Several Walgreens pharmacies in the area are booking appointments too, but unfortunately, some Sometimes it comes down to luck. It's frustrating, but today it seems everything in our area was booked out for the next three days. No matter where you're looking, refreshing the page could help. Today on Atrium Health's website, a few minutes after being told there weren't any time slots, an appointment in April popped up. I think that being aware and keeping checking back is going to be important. And if you make multiple appointments, be sure to cancel the ones you won't need so someone else has a chance to sign up. Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.